Okay, let's get started. We got sound? We got sound. Okay, good. Um, looks like we're straight into a calculator question, or I should say a software question. And these questions just beg for a spreadsheet due to the table nature of it. So let's um let's open up our spreadsheet. I'll take a moment and we'll pause the video. All right, it's loaded now. Uh, let's make it a new sheet. Okay, so we've got this function here and we have to complete this table. Uh, okay, let's do that. So we've got X, we've got F of X, that starts with 0 0.9 and then increases 0 0.99. And then 0 0.999, 0 0.9999. On this side, we have 1.1, 1 1.01, 1 1.001, 1 1.0001. 1 1 and the function is x squared minus 1, x squared minus 1 over the absolute of x minus 1. It's like, it looks like we are heading towards 2. Ah, no. There's a problem here. And, um... It's, there's a, a sign difference here, depending on the direction. So what do your results in the preceding indicate about the two-sided limit? Yeah, so, okay, so this is what we have going on here. It looks like, in question 31, the limit uh, as x goes to 1, from the left, I think I put a little minus there, isn't it? Of f of x. Uh, that's equal to minus 2. The limit as x goes to 1 from the right, that's equal to positive 2. I wonder if we can explore the reason why. Ff, f, fx equals x squared minus 1 over absolute of x minus 1. That's x minus 1 times x plus 1 over absolute of x minus 1. If x minus 1 is positive, then they would cancel and we'd be left with x plus 1. But if x minus 1 is negative, they would cancel but if we'd be left with a minus because they'd only cancel in magnitude, but not the sign. So you would be left with X plus one times a minus. So yeah, it, it makes sense to me. So there is no limit. So therefore uh, there does not exist the limit as X goes to one of F of X. Uh, it doesn't exist. I wonder what they say at the back for question 31. Have I gone too far? Yeah, the limit does not exist. Yeah, okay. Good. Good. Oh. Where have I? There we go, okay. For the following exercise, consider the function. Okay, so let's change our function. It's the interest and it's one plus X power one over X. So I suspect an E is going to appear.
Now we have to change the values, no doubt. Yeah, okay, so this one is minus 0 0.01, minus 0 0.001, minus 0 0.0001, and then minus 0 0.00001. Then on the other side, it's 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, 0 0.00001. Yep, yeah, it's tending towards E as I suspected. So what does this tell us? That the limit um, as X tends to zero of F of X here is equal to E. And the limit does exist. Okay. Oh, I've accidentally answered part 34 as well. That's part 34. In the following exercise, use the given values to set up a table to evaluate these. Round your solution to eight decimal places. Oh, oh, I should have taken care about the decimal places. That was four, that was five. Yeah, yeah, I should set that. Okay. Sorry about that. And the previous question as well, I never put into four decimal places. I missed that. No big deal. I'm not I'm not going to redo it just for the four decimal places. Uh, but let's be careful with this one. Let's do it to eight decimal places. Eight. Eight. Okay. Sine 2x over x. Sine 2x over x. And um, looks like the same values. Oh, no, slightly different. 0 0.1. 0 .00, uh, 0 0.001, 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, and then here nearly the same, 0 0.1, minus 0 0.001, no, minus 0 0.01, minus 0 0.001, minus 0 0.0001. Okay, uh, what are we to do here? In the following exercise, use the value Use the given values to set up a table to evaluate the limits. Round your solution to eight. Okay. Well, if we can see quite clearly in 35, the limit as x goes to zero of f of x exists and it's two. You can see quite clearly it's two. Uh, okay. I can check the answers. Two. Yeah. Thirty six. Hardly any difference. Just replace the two with a tree. And lo and behold, you'll get three as the limit. Okay, use the, so, to guess what the limit is here, well, we can clearly see what's happening. You're going to be left with the A. Eight, eight digits, not decimal places. Okay, let's have a look. We'll keep it there, eight for the moment. Okay. Uh, x squared minus 4. Uh, 
over x squared plus x minus 6. Ah, looks like it's heading towards two thirds. Um, eight digits, I guess. Do we count the zero as a digit? Yes, technically it's a digit. So I should uh, drop this to seven. Now I've got eight digits in the answer. It doesn't matter though. It's still quite clearly two thirds then. Um, what are we to do? Yeah, okay, so on 38, the limit is clearly is 2 over 3. Okay. Now, I might, you know what I'll do just for completeness? I might just redo that one 30 that I, I had the wrong digits for, just so if anyone wants to check their answer, they can. Um, okay, so it was x squared minus 1 over absolute of x minus 1. Okay. And um, four decimal places. Okay, and we are then 9. And x squared minus 1 over absolute x minus 1. Okay. Hmm, what have I typed in wrong? Something, anyways. x squared minus 1 over absolute x minus 1. That's weird. Oh, okay. That's working. So, that was the answer for question 30. I realized afterwards uh, I had the wrong number of decimal places. And if anyone wants to check that answer, that's what it is there. Okay, okay, so that's 30 taken care of. Now I can continue where I left off. Back to 41. Okay. And again, what was it? Eight digits. Okay, so on the top, Z minus one. Then on the bottom, it's z squared times z plus 3. Oh, did I do that right? Um, I'd, I'd say that's, what would the limit be here? Is it going to be zero? Um, oh, well, actually, I'm, 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 or is it going to be infinity? Uh, minus 0 0.1. Yeah, I think it's going to be infinity. Minus 0 0.01, minus 0 0.001, and minus 0, 0, 0, uh, 0 0.0001, and then 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, 0 0.0001. 0 0 0 yeah, looks like it's going towards minus infinity. We want eight digits. Well, actually, oh, each one will have to be rounded slightly differently if we want eight digits. That's a bit of a pain. This one will need to be rounded to 
six. There we go. One, two, three, four. So this would need to have four. One, two, three, four, five, six. This would need to have two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would need to have zero. And then I'd imagine it's the same situation over here. Whoops. There we go. It looks like it is diverging down to uh, minus infinity. Let's check it out. 41. Um, yeah, that's matching up. That's matching up. So yeah, that's right. Heading towards minus infinity. Where's that 41? The limit as z goes to zero of f of z here is minus infinity. It's it's a divergent. Not quite undefined like one over x. It was a little bit better. Okay, that was forty one. Okay, I think that is a good place to leave it. Um, finish on 41 so thanks for watching sorry about my slip with the rounding that's one of the things that seems to be catching me out in this book but we redid the question so you can check your answers uh, if you like now uh, okay like i said thanks for watching any mistakes or problems please let me know in the comments and i'll see you next time